Hello, photography. I wanted to show you how to make a collage, like a digital collage. Um, I think this could be a really interesting activity, and it's a great replacement for the photo weaving project that we would have done if you were in class. Okay, so first off, you've got to find a photo that um, would work well with another one, like one that has some uh, frames or, or um, negative space that you could cut out. Now, this is a picture that I had found from the old school. We, we took some tours when they were renovating the school, and um, you can see that the quality is not the greatest on this. There's a lot of noise in this photo, but it'll work well for our purposes. Um, I have these windows here that I can really easily cut out and then layer another picture into it. Um, to do this, we're going to want to duplicate this layer. I just like to have a copy of it in case I mess it up. And I'm going to turn off the bottom layer. So that way when I cut it out, you'll see that little checkerboard pattern indicating that it's a transparent spot. Uh, I also want to use the navigator tool because I think this tool is going to be especially helpful when you're doing this. So that way you can zoom in nice and close to cut things away. Um, you have some different selection tools, uh, the lasso tool, the magnetic lasso tool. I think that the polygonal lasso tool will be your best friend in this. And all I did is I held the button down, this appeared, I clicked it, and now what we're going to do is we're going to select these areas. Just clicking and again it's nice and geometric so not hard to do it and then delete all right so we cut away one little spot and we're going to do the same thing here you could try some of those other ones out too Ooh, i was a little sloppy on that yeah, that's a little better you can go back in and refine it okay and select. I'm thinking about other pictures now that I have that this would be fun to do with. You know, a fence could work really well. Windows in a house. Doorways. Maybe you have like a dollhouse or some toys that might have some cool spaces that you could cut out. I'm sure you have pictures that you've already taken that could work well with this. Oh, gotta go back over a little more. There we go. This guy's gonna be a little trickier. We might have to go in and get a little surgical up close, but I'm doing my best to kind of roughly, actually it's coming up pretty well, I think. I'm just kind of like making lots of little clicks around here as I trace out his shape. All right, and we're gonna cut this out. I could be doing a little better job with this, but for demonstration purposes, I think, I think at least you can see how I'm doing it. Okay. So we've cut away these areas. Now, if I turn that back layer um, on again, you'll see that it fills in the photograph because they're like on top of each other. But let's open up a new picture here. And let me see what I have. Oh, maybe the sunset. And um, I showed you how to do this before, but just as a little refresher, all I got to do is use like the rectangle tool uh, to basically select the area that I want to copy. I can go edit, copy, and now the thing is, who knows how these are going to fit together right now, but let's try it. And edit, paste. Now this is on top, so what I need to do is I need to rearrange my layers. So I'll put this one on top. Oh, wait, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? And now I'm going to use my little arrow tool and go to the bottom layer 
and now I can move this around. Oh gosh, yeah, hmm. looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty neat actually. I think mm, which way I like it better. This, this. You know, and you can resize it. Okay. Um, if I go into scale, I can make that background picture bigger. I'll hold shift while I do it so it keeps the same aspect ratio. Oh, actually, I don't know. I could... No, no, it made it bigger. Yeah. Although it doesn't really make sense with the light here. That's one possibility there. I kind of like that. Um, I'll go ahead and save this one. Actually, maybe it makes more sense right here. I think that makes more sense. And we'll go ahead and we'll save this one. So I'm just going to export as a JPEG. And looks good. And we'll save it. Let's try another one. Let's do another one. You know, we got this all set up. You might as well see what other things you can experiment with. How about one that doesn't make as much sense, like this water? I feel like this could be a cool one. And try out different photos. You might find some really cool combinations. Sometimes it's the things that you don't expect that actually work really well. Same thing as before, just selected that area. And you know what, let me close this one. I don't want to have too many things open. It starts to slow my computer down. And let's go ahead and paste it again. So now we got that water. I thought the water was gonna look cool, but you know what? It's a little bit hard to see what's going on back there. Uh, I think we need to make it smaller. So let's rescale that. Whoa, right, yeah, there we go. And I'm holding shift so that way it keeps that aspect ratio. Yeah, it's starting to look more like water now. A little hard to see the detail in the waves. Well, that's a little bit too small. We'll go a little bigger with it. Well, that's kind of interesting. It, it didn't really come out the way I was hoping, but I'll go ahead and save a copy of it. This is really fun, by the way, and there's so many things you can do with it. Like once you put go through the time of um, you know setting up that initial layer where you've cut everything out, you can really play around with it. You know that's the tricky one though. You got to find something that would be interesting to do that with you know like I said windows or um, doorways or fences can all work really well how about this there this is interesting <laughs> I scanned my face in here let me close this other file I don't want too many things that are open at once um, I scanned my face in. we'll see I don't know if this is gonna look good or not but we'll sure try it it's weird it's a weird picture I'm just going to copy this in, and we'll see. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let me make it a little smaller. I'll have to go into scale here. And let's so shift this around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's different. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you you experiment, have fun with it. Maybe this is a little better. There now I can like see my my eyes a little bit through the windows. Yeah, uh, uh, it's okay. You know, and different pictures are going to work in different ways. You know, like obviously um, this one has these very narrow openings. So that's only going to work with certain pictures. Um, you might have a different setup that works a lot better um, for this image, you know. So you'll have to just experiment a little bit and see what looks best to you. Actually, maybe that's the way this one should go. I'll stretch myself out even more. Yeah, yeah, that's different. I'll go ahead and save a copy of it. Let's 
Okay, now something that you might, oh gosh, I got a bunch of blackheads in my nose. Something that you might want to do this time, because in the past, uh, I just had you close the file. I didn't have you keep the PSD file. I actually think, you know, you're putting all this much work into setting this up. This is a fun thing that you could experiment with in the future. So let's save the PSD as well. So when you save the PSD file, that's going to keep all of your layers. Ooh, then that is a big file. 102 megabytes is huge, but it's worth it. It's worth keeping um, a copy of that. So that way at a future date, uh, either when we get back to school or just on your own, we can upload those PSD files and you'll have access to all those layers again. So you can keep experimenting with it. And... PSD files are like perfect because they work with Photoshop also. So, you know, right now we're using PhotoP, but when we get back to the school building, you know, next uh, year, next semester, uh, we'll, we'll have access to the full Photoshop again. Okay, well, I hope that uh, was interesting to you, and I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. Have a most wonderful day.